processing the game yesterday. I mean, as an offense, one of the veterans leaders, I mean, how are you guys processing what happened and obviously looking to improve? I mean, um, just straightforward and um, no, not having thin skin. You know, have to be able to be accountable and we all have to just pay a lot more attention to detail, you know, dot all our I's, cross our T's, and make sure we're doing the things, play in and play out, that, you know, help us win games. Um, the penalties, um, obviously taking care of the football, um, you know, protecting our quarterback, and um, just guys making their plays. So we're studying, we watched the film, and we're going to correct it this week, get those things right, get those things together, because we all have confidence in each other. We know the type of guys that we have. Um, character-wise, both on the field and off the field in our locker room. And um, we're just way too good, way too talented. And um, we're going to get this thing going in the right way. Uh, we're going to get this thing going the right way. Was it a penalty? I, 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 I truly disagree. Um, I, I was under the assumption that a chop block was in alignment is engaged and you cut while they're engaged. and my man, I made first contact with him before anybody touched him. So um, I didn't agree with the call. Obviously, it was a pivotal call. Going in, going to be in the red zone, first down, fresh head of downs, and it put us behind the chains, and we weren't able to get points. So it obviously, it was a crucial call, critical call, and I disagreed with the call. Mark, just uh, about London. I know it's a business trip, as your team in tomorrow day has told us earlier, but when the game gets announced at the beginning of the season, you're playing in London, do you get excited and do you look forward to the trip? Of course. Um, anytime you just, I love to travel, and anytime I get to travel because of football, I mean, I mean, we're all here essentially because of a football, you know what I mean? So uh, that's amazing in itself, and just to be in a beautiful country like England, being a beautiful, one of the, you know, Greatest cities in the world, London. Just be here playing um, American football. It's uh, something that I think you get excited about when you see it on your schedule. And, um, you know, we're excited to be here. It's a, it's a business trip. Um, we're here to get a win. That's our main focus, our main priority. But to be able to come overseas, cross the pond, and play um, in London in front of all the beautiful people in London, uh, I think it's something that we look forward to every single year. I mean, it's something you look forward to whenever it comes up on your schedule. Uh, so you love to travel. So have you been to London, England? You know? Yes, I've been. I've been. I've been to London, England a few times. I've. I've, I've actually um, was in Ashburn, England. Um, I went there, did a little documentary, learned about Royal Shrovetide. I don't know if it, you know anything about that. Any guys? Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, uh, yeah, it's one of the craziest sports. Um, so you guys should look it up. Royal Shrovetide in Ashburn, England. Uh, I love all the people out there, the uppers and the downers. You'll know what I'm talking about if you uh, go research it. But um, England has been good to me. The people, super nice. And um, it's just great to experience different culture in a different city, a great country. What kind, what kind of a sport is that? So it's basically these two sides of, you know, of Ashburn, really. So they have the uppers and the downers. And basically for two days out of the year, they basically, the uppers and the downers verse each other. And so they have this like rugby type, soccer ball type thing. And uh, there's two goals on either end of the city. So you basically have to score the goal like, like throughout the whole day, right? So <laughs> they throw it up in the middle of the city. And uh, it's just like a big scrum of like a people. Like, so there's no rules in the game other than no killing nobody. So, <laughs> so. They board up all the windows in the city, like all the restaurants, the bars, and you just see like these scrums of people just scrapping for this ball. And there's a method to the madness, but I don't really understand it all. But essentially, you want to move your ball to the goal. And it goes through the pond, it goes through the river, it goes through the city, through the mud. People are jumping on top of each other. It's crazy. They're scrapping, they're fighting, and essentially the ball works itself to one end of the town and they goal the ball. If you goal the ball, you're like a legend in Ashburn. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a, something that everyone in England should, everyone everywhere should look it up and uh, 
because it was the birthright to like rugby, soccer, f American football. It's kind of like all those things in one. So uh, Royal Shrove Tide in Ashburn, England, they showed me so much love. And uh, yeah, so. Mark, so I actually play running back and I have done for 11 years. Oh yeah? UK. But you recently hit 10,000 scrimmage yards, so congratulations on that. I appreciate that, brother. Still the all-time Russian leader for the Saints. What does that mean to you? Man, um, it means the world. I mean, first and foremost, I got to give glory to God. Um, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. The health, um, the adversity, uh, the family support system. I'm just so thankful and blessed to be even in my 12th season, be able to uh, compile that amount of yards over my career and uh, still pushing for more. So it's just a great blessing. So many people who have had their hands in it. Um, my offensive linemen, coaches, uh, receivers, tight ends, fullbacks, uh, all my teammates, coaches. Uh, family, friends, a lot of people have had their hands in that. So I'm just super excited to be able to accomplish that for them. We all can share it together. And, you know, just a lot of hard work and dedication. Always been striving to be the best and um, still striving to be the best. 10,000 scrimmage yards. I'm going for 10K rushing yards. So still, yeah, still, still got work to do. Still got a lot of work to do. Appreciate I appreciate you for, congrats, for the congratulations. <laughs> Up, yeah, thank you. Mark, Mark, what are your thoughts about the, um, the changes to the Pro Bowl, the switching from a game to a uh, skills competition yeah. and flag football? I mean, everyone kind of had their opinions about the Pro Bowl anyway, so I guess maybe a different format could bring a little juice, a little more energy. Um, uh, been to the Pro Bowl a few times, always enjoy it, and, um, you know, good time hanging out with, you know, the best guys around the league and spend time with their families, getting to know them. So I guess just to be able to change up the format a little bit, we'll see how it works out. We'll see how everybody likes it. But, um, you know, I'm eager to see how it goes and see the feedback that everybody has about it. And are the games essentially just don't get hurt when you're, when you're playing the games? I mean, yeah, you definitely don't want to get hurt. I mean, it's an all-star game essentially, and you want to put on a good product for the fans and for yourself. But at the same time, I mean, the season is over for you essentially and you don't want to be going into an off season or into a contract year and getting hurt in a Pro Bowl game. So you kind of have to do be able to understand that. But it kind of does the game does crank up in the fourth quarter and in the fourth quarter if it's close. So nobody can tell me if it was a close game in the Pro Bowl, like with eight, six to eight minutes left, it cranks up a little bit and uh, it gets a little bit more intense with the money on the line. So um, but yeah, well, uh, um, I'm eager to see about the new changes and the feedback from everybody and how everybody enjoys it. Clark, you think you guys can uh, galvanize a little bit out here, kind of secluded in London, you know, it's a rough couple of games. Yeah. You think you guys can galvanize a little bit here? Man, we uh, we just going to – listen, we're here on a business trip, and um, obviously it's a beautiful city, and, you know, we might be able to go have some dinner, maybe be able to catch a soccer game. Um but at the end of the day, the main objective is to come here and get a win. So um, we're going to gel. We're going to mesh as one. Maybe this is some time that we need all to be together. Um, kind of continue to gel, continue to mesh, continue to just love on your teammates and grow closer to your teammates. All that's very important, you know, with the dynamic of a team. So uh, I'm looking forward to this week with, with the guys, looking forward to this week with the team, um, being able to spend time with them, be able to grow, be able to get better, be able to improve and put our best foot forward on Sunday out here in London. You said about a soccer match. Any Premier League team in particular? Probably? Listen, so, Go <laughs> so Arsenal showed me love last time we was here. Arsenal showed me love last time we was here in 2017. Um, they had us out on the pitch pregame. They had us up in the suite. Shout out Drew Brees. Um, but they showed us a lot of love. They had jerseys for us. So just off of that hospitality, I kind of like Arsenal. You know what I mean? But Man City. Probably the Premier League yeah, yeah, really yeah. They they are doing well this year, but I mean, Man City, you know, uh, Tottenham, all those, you know, Man U, <laughs> Man U and Man City play the same day as us, like the same yeah. time. I'm like, yo, like this game needs to be like midweek or something, so I could go. You know what I mean? But England and Germany are playing today, so um, might be able to catch that match. So. Uh, and just finally for me, I, I know you played in 2017 at Wembley, but are you looking forward to playing at Tottenham? And also from 2017, it's quite a unique experience, isn't it? An NFL game in London, because yeah. the crowd just celebrates. It's like a celebration. It is. It? It's Man, amazing. it's crazy just to be in like, when we played in Wembley, I mean, that's like the most famous stadium, right? So it's like be able to 
get on that grass and play a football game was great. I mean, it was sold out, packed, like fans everywhere celebrating, cheering. It's, it's just a great experience to have as, as a football player, man, to come out here and some of these beautiful stadiums, you know what I mean? Now we're playing at Tottenham, so I'm glad to, to be able to go and experience that stadium now. And, um, yeah, man, it's, it truly is a great experience to come out here and anytime this game is on our schedule, it's something that I look forward to. Thank you, yes, sir. Mark, I'm asking this question as, as a running back who's been in the league for a long time, nothing specifically this year. But as you watch games all week, it just feels like there's more effort to strip ball, go up, I mean, just hammering guys. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. I think the emphasis on turning the ball over is coached and talked about daily and practice daily and regularly if you can turn the ball over as a defense you get your offense the ball if you can turn the ball over on defense and score that makes your chances go up of winning um, I think you know it's a blessing and a curse as an offensive player because I, I don't think back in the day that everybody was like punching and trying to turn the ball over like they are now you see it just game in game out week in week out right but also some guys are they're focusing on tackling the football. So if you have good ball security and you can get extra yards and break tackles, because um, sometimes defenders are more worried about you know tackling the ball than wrapping up the ball carrier. So um, if you have good ball security and uh, you had a ball high and tight, two hands on it, going through traffic, um, you can make them pay for trying to tackle the ball as well. But uh, definitely, it's a point of emphasis for our defense. You know, turn the ball over, not not. Get, not not give the ball up on offense, take the ball away on defense. You know, that's the thing with football. Everything revolves around the football. You can't go anywhere without the football. You can't score without the football. You can't win without having the football. So That's a Dennis line, isn't it? Doesn't Dennis talk about just It's all about the ball. The players it's all about the ball. The ball right? It's all about the ball. It's all about the ball. It's something that we've been preaching. It's something that we take pride in, obviously. And uh, you have to continue to improve, continue to do better at taking care of the football on offense and um, continue to get more turnovers on defense. Mark, although it's been a, a tough couple of weeks, what's the main positive that you're seeing in this team that you're taking out of it? I think just the positivity and the accountability. Um, when there's been mistakes made, uh, nobody points the fingers, nobody's blaming. Everyone's seeing what they can do to improve, everyone's seeing what they can do to improve better. What, everyone could do to encourage each other to be better. And I think that's a special dynamic to have within your team when nobody's blaming each other and everybody's taking their own accountability for the mistakes and for the outcome of the game. So um, I think I'm super encouraged about the mindset and the commitment to each other that we have on our team. Uh, we love each other, we wanna play hard for each other and we wanna go out there and execute to the highest level possible. So. We could essentially win games as a football team and celebrate together. So I think it's just the mindset, the camaraderie, the love, the accountability, the no point in the fingers. Um, it's, a, it's a big team, little me. You know, put your own personal agenda aside for the greater good of the team. And I think that's something that is special about our team that we have right now.